you know, I tell people, if you had sex more than once in your life, even once, you, probably, you have, probably have HPV, because there are lots of types of HPV, different genotypes. Some don't cause cancer, some do. Some cause uh, anal warts or warts in your fingers. And we, you know, we're getting warts when we're kids, most of us, right? In our fingers, some of us. Um, so it, it's, it's, it's in our bodies. Most of us have it. Some of us have the real bad stuff, especially the ones, few of us have had too much sex in our lives. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not naming names, <laughs> including myself. But um, the more sexual exposure you've had, the more chances you probably have a lot of the different types of HPVs. Um, and some people clear it um, normally. They get infected, and their immune system basically clears it. But most of us, and some of us get, they clear it, if you have a good immune system, some people get reinfected. They clear it, but they get reinfected. And, and some of us, maybe most of us in HIV, have basically remain, it remains active in our bodies. And, and we have a persistent infection. There's every HPV, HP, every HPV does not cause cancer. There are only uh, four types, 16, 18, 45, and 56. The issue is that not a single doctor is doing the HPV test, the genotype test. I'm actually working on that right now because I want to get it done. It was approved. Uh, two companies have a test where you get a blood test and they can see what kind of HPVs you have, but it's only approved for women. It's not approved for men, and definitely not approved for anal cancer, even though we know HPV has a role there. So I'm um, actually with Jeff Taylor, we're writing letters to Roche and Abbott and say, hey, you know, <laughs> you know we, we're men, but we want access because it costs $280 if you had to pay for it yourself. So, but it, it would be a good way to find out, hey, you know, should I be extra concerned? And the only way to really find it, people say, well, how do I know um, if I have a problem? You say, well, the longer the exposure to HIV, the longer you've lived with HIV, chances are, you know, the more chances. And we've seen some incidence data that, you know, that we may have more, more problems. A rectal exam, if, you, if it's that evident, if you already have issues, you know, uh, more than words. Um, but many, how many doctors take a uh, finger in your butt, even for prostate? Very few. I'm finding out more and more that this yearly test is not done for, for men and women. I'm not talking about men, I'm talking men and women, um, because it doesn't discriminate. And a pap smear, there's some evidence that just scraping the anal area with a pap smear and sending it to a lab to uh, grow um, um, for, for, uh, for growth to see if there's any irregular cells may be an indicator if you have a problem here that will pick something up. It's not 100% effective, but it's, it's easy and cheap, and for those that have no insurance, definitely um, an option. Um, but the most, um, the most effective way to see what's in there is to use an anoscopy um, tool like this, not a fun test to get done. By the way, if you've lived with HIV for over 20 years and you haven't gotten your butt checked, you need to get it checked. And that's another thing, and people say, well, why are you so absolute about what you say? So, well, because, you know, you will not hurt. If you don't have it, well, good news. But if you have anything, it's always easier to treat it, prevent it, than to end up with chemo and radiation or a colonoscopy bag. So what happens is this is what we call a high-resolution anoscopy. Um, they stick this thing up your butt while you're bending over. It's kind of not really fun, but hey, you know, we've gotten worse things to talk about butts. But, um, you know, and they, of course, open up your butt, they spray, uh, they look inside with a light, they spray some um, vinegar, some acetic acid, and they shine an uh, infrared light to see um, what, what mucosa actually shines differently. The cancer-related, cancer, -related, cancer uh, mucosa tends to shine very different than healthy tissue. So they can actually see, and then some doctors go with uh, infrared coagulation or to cauterize and cut the, and send it to biopsy. I've gotten that procedure done three times. It's, it's, but, you know, I catch it on time. So um, I'd rather do that than... And it's not a test that you are looking forward to doing. So people tend to put it off. And uh, people say, well, you know, I, don't, I haven't had any problems. How do you know if you have a problem? So sometimes you don't. Sometimes you have some bleeding, thinking it's a hemorrhoid or rough sex or something. Um, sometimes it's just this inflammation that you feel that could be caused by many things. So it really, there's no way to find out unless you, you go for the actual, the actual um, uh, anoscopy.